Welcome to Swift Math. This video shows a simple and extremely fast method for squaring a three digit number whose middle digit is zero. Once you understand this method, it should not take more than three seconds to square a three digit number with zero as the middle digit. Let's consider the number 307. We will begin by considering the square of the leftmost digit. In this case, the leftmost digit is 3. So, first write down the square of 3, which is 9, as shown. For the next step, we multiply all non zero digits in 307 and the number 2. In 307, the non zero digits are 3 and 7. So, multiplying 3 with 7 gives us 21, and multiplying 21 with 2 gives us 42. Now write down 42 next to 9 as shown. In the last step, we square the rightmost digit. The rightmost digit in 307 is 7. And the square of 7 is 49. So write down 49 as shown. We now have the final answer. The square of 307 is 94,249. I will consider another example. Let's find the square of the number 902. As before, in the first step, we write the square of 9 as it is the leftmost digit of 902. The square of 9 is 81 and we write 81 as shown. In the next step, we multiply all non-zero digits with each other and then multiply the result with 2. So multiplying 9 with 2 gives us 18 and multiplying it again with 2 gives us 36. Write 36 next to 81 as shown. In the last step, we square the rightmost digit 2. The square of 2 is 4. Now write 4 next to 8136 as shown. Thus our final result is 813,604, which is the square of 902. You may have noticed that in the last step, when we squared 2 while obtaining the square of 902, we did not just write 4, but the numbers 0, 4. And that is a very salient point. Each step in this method must contribute 2 digits to the result. Now you might wonder what happens if a step contributes more than 3 digits. Let's solve a final example that takes care of such a situation. Let's find the square of the number 708. Once again, we first square 7, which is the leftmost digit, and get 49 as shown. In the next step, we multiply the non-zero digits of the number with 2. So multiplying 7 and 8 gives us 56, and multiplying 56 with 2 gives us 112. Since we know that each step can contribute only two digits to the final result, we will carry over the most significant digit in 112. The most significant digit is the leftmost digit, and for 112, the most significant digit will be 1. So we carry 1 over as shown in the example and add it to 49 that was earlier obtained and get the intermediate result 5012. As before, in the last step, we square the rightmost digit 8. The square of 8 is 64. Now write 64 as shown to get the final result.